First place the Blackhawk power supply on the top shelf of the multi-lane cabinet. This is the output circuit breaker, which trips when there is a fault on the output. This is the output connector, where you connect the output. The battery temperature compensation sensor plug is located below the fan. The battery connector and breaker are left of the fan. The Blackhawk LED display has line, sensor, battery, and test indicators. The green light shows the line is good. The sensor shows the temp sensor is connected, and the green battery light means the battery is charging as in, in float mode. Test light is off, indicating no test is present. When the line LED is red, this indicates the power supply is running on batteries and the line is bad. The green battery light indicates the batteries are good. This shows the power supply transferring from battery mode to line mode. The line LED went from amber, a qualifying state, to green, which now indicates the supply is running on line mode. In this light configuration, the line LED is off. The battery flashing red indicates an alarm. There are two possible causes for the alarm. Either the batteries have discharged to low battery cutout, or the wire harness between the inverter module and transformer module is not connected properly. An anti-backfeed alarm will cause both the battery LED and the line LED to flash. If the power supply were to fail a test, the test LED will turn red, indicating the battery is not connected or has failed the test. To clear the test, reapply the battery. Wait for the battery to turn green. To clear the alarm, press the test button again. To replace the relay, remove the front cover. Simply remove five screws on the front panel. The relay is held down with a tie wrap. Simply cut to gain access. Remove relay and replace. When replacing, align contacts properly and push down into place. The output voltage is selectable between 60 volts, 75 volts, and 89 volts. To change output voltage, unscrew the connector and move black wire to desired location. Be sure to tighten connection. The Blackhawk has three metal oxide varistors and can be replaced. They are accessible from the screw on the top. If you need to remove the inverter module, turn off the battery breaker. Remove the battery wire harness. Remove the temp sensor. Unscrew three panel screws. Slide the inverter module forward. Undo the two latches and remove the ribbon cable. Remove the inverter module. To reinstall the module, line up the edge of the module to the track. Then align the top edge of the top track. Connect your ribbon cable. Make sure it's latched. Hold the ribbon cable up to prevent it from catching on the corner of the heat sink. Then simply slide into place.
Tighten the three screws. Reattach the battery harness and temp sensor. Turn the battery breaker on. To install the interface kit, slide the module panel outward. Unscrew the three screws on the side bracket. Replace the factory interface with the HMS interface kit. Reinstall the three screws. Install the board to board connector between the module and the card. Install the nylon standoffs to panel. Take the card and align with the board to board adapter. To secure, install the four screws. and slide module back into place. Attach the black and white wire from the PIM to the output. Then connect the battery harness to the front of the power supply. Next, take the line and connect it to the outlet. Take the cabinet indicator and plug into cabinet indicator outlet. Then take your temp sensor harness and plug it into the temp sensor outlet. Once everything is connected, turn the main breaker on. Turn on the battery breaker. The test light is blinking to indicate the monitoring card is detected. Once the test is completed, the test light will cease blinking. Then the battery light will turn green. When checking output voltage, make sure your meter is set to AC volts. Connect your probes to the back of the output connector. The output reading is at 89.3 volts. To check the battery, switch your meter to DC voltage. First, check the voltage across the string. It gives a reading of 39.4 volts. To test the battery string, take your probe and press the test button. The test LED will come on. After 10 seconds, the inverter will start. When the inverter is running, the fan will turn on. The amber line LED is on, indicating it is running online. Now you can check individual batteries. Connect your probes to the positive and negative terminals. The first reading is 12.6 volts. Battery number two is at 12.6 volts. Battery number three is at 12.5 volts.
To terminate the test, it will stop on its own or you can use the probe to press the test button. It will automatically reacquire the line and the test is done. This concludes our session for the maintenance of the multi-link Black Hawk power supply.